Well, here you go. Let's take a look at this. Humans will become godlike cyborgs within 200 years. The amalgamation of man and machine will be the biggest evolution in biology. Um, wealthy humans are likely uh, become become cyborgs within 200 years as they gradually merge with technology like computers and smartphones. A historian has claimed, "This guy, man." At the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, I mean, let, I'll just leave that alone. Said the amalgamation of man and machine will be the biggest evolution in biology since the emergence of life four billion years ago. Um, let me read him. Uh, sorry, I'm skipping around. I'll put this link below. He argued that humans as a race were driven by dissatisfaction and that we would not be able to resist the temptation to upgrade ourselves whether by genetic engineering or technology see that's the whole one of the main agendas behind all these superhero movies we are programmed to be dissatisfied yes because this is a reality that lives off negative energy even when humans gain pleasure and achievements it is not enough they want more and more i think it is likely in the next 200 years or so, Homo sapiens will upgrade themselves into some idea of a divine being, either through biological manipulation or genetic engineering of by the creation of cyborgs, part organic or part non-organic. It will be the greatest evolution in biology since the appearance of life. Now notice how this guy is holding this skull because this dude is death. He represents death standing right. I see behind him no different than this. This is the fractal reality behind him, the negative fractal system reality crap that we're stuck in, and this guy is death. However, he warned that the cyborg technology would be restricted to the wealthiest in society, widening the gap between rich and poor in society. Um, God is extremely important because without religious myth, you can't create society. Religion is the most important invention of humans. There is a big, there is a monumental difference between religion and God and Christ and spirituality. I don't understand where this stuff comes from. You show people all day long religion is man-made. It doesn't mean Christ and God doesn't exist. I believe in them so much that I'm willing to die for them. I do not believe in religion. I am not a Christian. Find me, for the love of God, someone find me the Bible verse where Jesus Christ said, create a religion, name it after me, and follow it. Find me that verse. Find it. If you can't, you've been lied to. This stuff pisses me off because... Al and man, Alex Jones is bought and paid for just like everybody else, but he's not entirely full of shit, is he? Some of the stuff he says is true. And if I had more time, I tell you what, I, I am positive, and I mean 100% positive, that that man came out years ago and said something to the very syllable of what this guy is talking about. That this, in fact, almost word for word, what this guy is saying, he said was what was going to happen. And I believe it. There is going to be an absolute mesh, combination merging of humans and machine. So if this doesn't, if this doesn't say to you what's coming, and this doesn't show how there's predictive programming, how we've been lied to for so long, and about what their true agenda is, then you just don't want to accept it. And that's fine. But that doesn't mean it's not true. Just because you don't like the way it sounds or don't like what, you, what you're hearing doesn't mean that it isn't true. So take the link, look at it. Maybe someone who knows Alex Jones, because I don't really pay attention to him very much. I did at the very beginning like everybody else, but then you find out real quick that he's not really, <laughs> he's one of them. But I know there are a lot of people who, who, who are pretty familiar with a lot of his work. And I, and if you can find that, I'm almost positive it's on one of his like big budget, or not necessarily big budget, but one of his self-produced like DVDs, that it opens him saying this. I mean, basically what this, this whole thing I read to you, he says. So 
I hate to use him as a source, but when the guy says it years and years ago, and now you're looking right at it, I mean, there you go. Like I said, but we know he's bought and paid for. I know he's bought and paid for. But people who are armoring, there's already going to be comments below because as soon as I mention Alex Jones, people cut this video off and say, "Oh, he's bought and paid for." You don't know what you're talking about. I know it's already going to happen, so I shouldn't. I should just stop right now. Okay, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my supporters.